There's not much of a partying atmosphere here. Alexandre Ascaris is a taxi driver who organizes football events on the side. He's been organizing match parties in Villa Isabel in northern Rio for almost four decades. But this year of all years, he's having trouble finding volunteers to help organize the event. I didn't expect it, and I was surprised by how unmotivated the people were. Nobody wants to help and be part of it. Many people are reluctant to get into the World Cup spirit. They feel the tournament is more of a PR stunt to get Brazil noticed on the international stage. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff has been busy touring the stadiums, some of which are not yet complete. But the country's sports minister appears oblivious to those concerns. Football brings happiness to a country. And it also awakens a sense of magic. The World Cup has also resulted in a new focus on poverty and violence in the country. Protests have been taking place nationwide. There have been numerous police operations in slums that have turned violent. Many Brazilians are shocked by what they are seeing. Every Brazilian is ashamed of what's happened. You can't be in favor of something that goes against the people. The World Cup is a great thing, but the impact is not. All of the money is spent on Brazil's international image, but the Brazilian people suffer. Street festival veteran Alexandre doesn't want the bad mood bringing him down. At the end of the day, it's about football, and he says a Brazilian victory. That won't solve the problems we have, but it would definitely soothe the suffering soul of our nation. That's what it'll do. We will win. It's certain that we're going to win. And so he keeps trying. He's got the support of some volunteers for the weekend, when he finally hopes to create a carnival atmosphere on his street.